you are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after Strange Flush. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host body system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. It's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it doesn't add up to the scriptures, then it's not true. All right, guys, God bless you, and welcome to This Is It, 4321. Before the fire, here it comes. Let's go, guys. It's coming. I know you know it's coming. If you turn on your TV, you turn on YouTube, all you got to do is look around, and you can tell we are at the end of time. The end of the world is here. Can you tell? Can you see the serpent race? It's, a, it's an insect race taking over everything. It's taking over and if you just go watch all the new movie advertisements for all the new movies coming out and you go see how they wove in the twin female agenda, washing out the male energy. It's just so obvious now. Anyway, because the word is being made manifest right in front of our eyes and that's what you see in society is the transformation of the whole thing. Do y'all remember the kingdom of the crystal skull? Remember the, the Russian scientist? He goes... Uh, we're going to turn you into us, Dr. Jones. And the best part of all, you'll never even know it's happening. Exactly what's going on. And the world is changing. Um, I mean, right before your very eyes. Remember this guy, Jonathan Cleck, that prophesied? He said, and the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes, and the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea. That's just the evil one elevated within the sea of humanity. Can't you see it? So obvious. Okay, now, first thing is, uh, back from the mission, wow. <laughs> I got to process. I, I documented everything. Um, But right now, the thing I need to do is get to you guys with some more information. And I have some scriptures that are going to be coming in the next day or two. I'm going to inundate you now with the Word of God to where all the information that I've given you is totally supported by the word because I'm an end time harbinger to get you ready for the moment in time where the Lord will show up and those who have been converted and are ready can leave. Those who are not will go through what's called the hour of testing, the time of the female rival. And so anyway, I hope nobody's here for that. Uh, the Bible says, pray that you're accounted worthy to escape all these horrors and stand before the Son of Man. Um, so I pray that I'm accounted worthy. I pray that everyone that watches this is accounted worthy to not have to be here for what's coming, but it's coming. Anyway, all right, so let me show you where we're at right now. I want you guys to see the next little segment on the DVD. So we have another little part that's going to be added to the end. Let me show you real quick. You can go see the DVD right now as it is. It's on Zach's channel, so it's at Zach Wentz's channel right here. It says first one-third of DVD right here. So if you guys want to go watch this, you know, again, we're going to add it right on to the end here. And let me show you what we're going to add on. So this is the begin this is the first third of the DVD. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this is going to be added on to the part that's existing already. And we are currently working on this summation to where it's so easy to show you the serpent race what it is, what it was. It's insects using host bodies as avatars to hunt angels. It's the most obvious thing in the world now. But it took God's light and God's uh, just grace and his giving in order for us to see and understand it because it's so heavy duty. And he had to have someone that he could put into the scriptures in a way that it just became my all-encompassing gift that he used to um, produce through me to you. It's it's not Jonathan Clegg. It's the Lord using this guy named Jonathan Clegg to give you what he wants to give you. That's why Jonathan means Yahweh has given. My name is an appellation of what the Lord God is doing through me to you to help you. So you'll be ready. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's watch this little clip. And again, if you want to watch this, 
it says carnivores monster short that's the that's the uh, little short clip for it but that goes at the end of this this whole dvd that's that's right here and we this goes on the end of it so if you wanted to watch the whole thing in its entirety you go to zach's channel and you watch first one third of the dvd you can go watch that and then right after that this part but i'm just going to play this part for you right now so you guys can see it here we go are y'all ready okay and peace and grace i love you guys in christ and uh got some just exciting stuff but i'm i'm overwhelmed with information data and enough time to give everything i've got to you guys okay here you go y'all ready here we go oh wow Look at that, here we go. Let's try and get this done before the next cyber attack. So let's analyze some data. Let's look at the Vatican again. The Vatican is a snake and it is birthing another snake. Two serpents. In the mouth of the serpent, the Vatican is a sheep made up of a bunch of angels. So you have a serpent, angels, and a sheep. Let's look at downtown Grand Junction. There's a statue in downtown Grand Junction. It's a guy hugging a girl, but it is also a serpent strangling a sheep. Let's look at a car that my wife gave me. Two girls sitting in a tree. It says when you find yourself out on a limb, but if you simply rotate the card, it's a serpent eating a sheep given to me by my own wife. It just happens to be identical to the statue in Grand Junction. Let's look at the tattoo on this guy's back. It's an angel bound together with a demon. But the entirety, the entire sum of the tattoo makes up a sheep. So the angel and the demon form a sheep. And then the devil is looking up from the pit in anticipation of receiving the energy from the relationship of the angel that is bound to the demon in agony. And when you invert the entire image, it becomes a worm sucking up the energy from the angel and the demon relationship. In Guatemala, there is a pyramid. When you turn the pyramid upside down, the image that looked like a king wearing a really flamboyant headdress becomes another sheep. And superimposed right on the face of the sheep is the devil. So again, we have the same common denominator over and over again from a skateboard shop in the mall called zoomies there's an image of a sheep that's had its head cut off and there is a door in space and out of that door in space coming from another dimension is what looks like the same identical thing sorry about that, that miley cyrus's neoprene red suit looks like in a video called mother's daughter in the video mother's daughter which is another way of saying parthenogenesis miley cyrus is wearing a red neoprene suit with silver teeth on her crotch suggesting that her vagina is carnivorous that eats whatever goes in it which is exactly what the example is of all these other things if there's a skate shot that exemplifies the exact same agenda as Miley Cyrus in a video called Mother's Daughter. How is that even possible without it being absolutely true? Because on the Zoomies bag, that prehensile vagina that's coming out of a dimension, it's like a worm that's coming out of a dimension and the worm has teeth same as Miley Cyrus's crotch and it's eating sperm. That's identical to the Vatican. The Vatican is a serpent and in the mouth of the serpent is a bunch of angels that are being devoured in the form of semen. So what is the agenda? What is the world? What is the whole world all about? Well, the Bible says in angels that left their first estate, he is kept in everlasting chains of darkness, awaiting the judgment of the great day. The word everlasting chains of darkness, the definition is forward and backwards ligaments of the body, which is made manifest again by the outward manifestation of clothing and logos and tennis shoes, tennis shoes that say fallen with an F pointing one direction, the F pointing the other direction, tennis shoes called bait by YG that say, fuck you, pay me on the tongue, lost angel on the heel. It's so redundantly obvious at this point for anyone to deny it, you would have to be delusional that the human host body and the female was used to destroy angels. And the Bible says in Genesis, neither shall you touch it lest you die the forbidden fruit the tree of the knowledge of good and evil neither shall you touch it lest you die it means euphemistically to lie with a woman so if the angels were willing to choose to make the decision to lie with a the woman then they were willing to go against their creator 
and engage in a cannibalistic system which is murderous and incestuous and it is the ultimate sin against God because the angels of God become food for a race of beings in the eternal abyss that are locusts and it is the ultimate sin and that is made obvious even on album covers like Ozzy Osbourne, Ultimate Sin. Now let's move on to some other relationships. Okay, I'm gonna pause that. So let's see. Okay, there you go. So now, let me just enlarge this. So isn't that just perfect? I mean, the, the revelation of the data with the Word of God, it's unstoppable. It's not It's not stoppable. Because the Vatican is a snake, isn't it? Sure it is. What are they doing in it? They're singing to Lucifer, dawning his own creation. What creation is that? The flesh. Because that's what Ezekiel says. Thou art the anointed cherub Lucifer that covereth to cover with flesh, to conceal oneself with flesh. That's who Lucifer is. He is the anointed cherub that conceals with flesh, to hide self in flesh. There you go. So we're all hiding in our flesh from God, and you have to turn back to God and admit you're sorry. That's what this is all about. It's so perfect. It's insane. Anyway, so we have a lot more super awesome video coming for you guys. I hope you guys like the little shorty. If you want to see it uninterrupted, just go to Zach's channel. Just go back and pause this. I want to thank all of you guys, man. You guys... I have no idea. The, I, I just did another over 4,000 mile road trip to go help some folks. And um, without you guys, it wouldn't have happened for them. They would have been left on the street. It would have been a horrible situation. Uh, we're talking people being hunted by that by that monster. And then other people that just needed help. Um, anyway, so praise God, all you guys. Uh, I get all the thank yous. You know, people, oh, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. I just want you to know those thank yous go to you guys. I'm I'm a facilitator and I do the best I can, uh, but I want you to know when we get home you'll get you'll get the thank yous uh, that you know they come my direction but with, they're for you guys. All right, I love you guys in Christ. Um, oh, by the way, I got some bears. Oh, thank you very much. This is a really wild bear right here. Okay, it almost looks like he's about ready to start talking. <laughs> I love you guys in Christ. Mm -mm. Peace and grace. And um, I'm going to start my little bear cult hug row behind me since I'm the leader of the bear hug cult, Jonathan Clack. Um, anyway, I think everyone could use a hug every now and then, um, especially where we're at these days. It's like, all right. Love you in Christ. I'll be here uh, as much as I can. I'm, I'm going to be here showing you the stuff that we're working on. We're going to take the part I just did, the little shorty. We're going to put it, add it on to the, the DVD part that's sitting over on Zach's, and that'll be sitting there. You can watch it in its entirety. Uh, and then we have our next section we're working on right now, and that'll get plugged in in probably three or four days, about probably three days. We want to have the DVD ready before the eclipse. <laughs> Some very strange things are going on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Texas has declared a national um, emergency, a, a national disaster in five counties, or like a, a, a what is it called? Uh, something of disaster, a state of disaster. There you go. A state of disaster has been declared for the upcoming eclipse. Well, there's a lot of biblical stuff that talks about. And the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give its light. Um, there's just a lot of stuff. I'm not pontificating. I'm not insinuating. I'm just saying it's always good just to be ready today. Because when the Lord comes, when you don't expect it, then here he comes. So anyway, you should be ready right now. Okay? I love you in Christ. Peace and grace.